hi friends welcome back to another tutorial in this video I will be showing you how to transform a scene in Photoshop for example you can change a photo into a beautiful sunset or night scene or even turn it into a winter wonderland with realistic snow falling so if you are excited to learn some new Photoshop skills grab a photo and let's get started To start off, it's important to ensure that you have the Photoshop 2024 version installed on your computer. This version is necessary for the techniques and features that we will be using in this tutorial. For this demonstration, we will be focusing on how to turn any photo into a winter scene complete with snow and a wintry atmosphere. I will also show you how to create an AI generated falling snow overlay and how to use it to enhance your image giving it that extra touch of realism we have a fantastic image to work with for this tutorial it's a great shot with excellent positioning of the subject and lighting which will make our job much easier let's take advantage of some generate to AI magic to turn this existing photo into something completely new and exciting if you would like to follow along with the same image, simply click the link in the description to download it. This way you can practice the techniques we will be covering and see the results for yourself. Okay, first let's start by selecting the subject of our image. We will be use the lasso tool for this task. You can find the lasso tool in the toolbar on the left side of your screen. Once you have selected the lasso tool, click and drag around the edge of the subject to create a selection. I recommend keeping the selection just a little bit inside the area of the subject rather than right on the edge to make sure we get a clean cut and avoid any unwanted background elements. Once you have made your selection, it's time to invert it so that we can work on the background area. To do this, press Shift Command I or Shift Control I on your PC this will invert your selection so that everything outside of the subject is now selected. Now that we have the background area selected, let's click on generate to fill in the contextual task bar at the bottom of the screen. This will open up the generate to fill options. In the prompt box, enter the words winter landscape, then click on generate. This will instruct Photoshop to generate a winter landscape in the background area of your image. It's important to keep in mind that the results you get from generate to fill will vary depending on the words you use for the prompt. So don't be afraid to experiment with different combinations of words to see what you like best. You might try different variations like snowy landscape, winter wonderland or frozen forest to see what results you get. The possibilities are endless. so have fun and get creative. Once you have applied the generate to fill with the winter landscape prompt, you will notice three variations of outdoor winter scenes appear in the properties panel. This is a great way to see the different interpretations of your prompt and to choose the one that fits your vision best. In the example I am working with, I am particularly drawn to the last variation. I love the way the hair of the subject is picking up the light uh, along the sides which helps to integrate uh, the subject into the winter scene seamlessly. However, it's important to remember that your results may vary. So take time to look at each variation and choose the one that you like best. If none of them quite hit the mark, don't be afraid to try again with a different prompt or variation. Once you have settled on a winter landscape variation, make sure the generate to fill layer is active by clicking on it in the layers panel. Then press command A or control A on your PC to select the entire canvas area. You should see the marching ants around the canvas edge indicating that the entire area is selected. Next, click generate to fill again in the contextual taskbar and this time type in falling snow overlay or something similar, hit the generate button.
just like before you will be given three results to choose from in our example all three results look pretty good but i am particularly fond of the first one it has a nice balance of snowfall and doesn't overwhelm the image once you have made your choice right click on the layer in the layers panel and choose rasterize layer this will convert the generative fill layer to a regular photoshop layer which will allow us to freely adjust the layer as needed this step is very important because it gives you more control and flexibility to fine tune the snow overlay to better match your image now that we have our snow overlay layer in place let's start by removing the color from the snow to make it look more realistic to do this simply press shift command u or shift control u on your pc this will desaturate the layer removing all color and leaving you with a gray scale image of the snow this step is important because it helps to make the snow look more natural and convincing in the context of a winter scene next let's set the layer blend mode to screen you can find the blend mode options near the top left of the layers panel setting the blend mode to screen will lighten the overall image making the snow appear more translucent and allowing the background to show through this helps to create a more realistic and integrated look for the snow overlay now let's add a levels adjustment layer to further enhance the snow to do this click the new adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel and choose levels this will open the levels properties apply the clipping mask by clicking this icon this will create a clipping mask indicating that the adjustment layer is now clipped to the snow layer now use the sliders below the histogram to boost the contrast of the snow this will help it stand out more against the background and blend better with the image next click the layer mask thumbnail on the snow layer in the layers panel this will allow us to selectively hide or reveal parts of the layer choose the gradient tool in the toolbar which can be found on the left side of the screen click on the gradient thumbnail preview in the options bar at the top of the screen and select the foreground to transparent preset in the basics folder this will create a gradient that fades from the foreground color to transparent then select the radial gradient icon in the options bar and press x until the foreground color is set to black now simply draw a couple of gradients in the area where the subject is located this will reveal the subject through the snow creating a more natural and integrated look by following these steps you will be able to create a realistic and convincing snow overlay that enhances your winter scene and adds an extra touch of magic to your image to add a touch of color back into the snow layer let's start by adding a hue and saturation adjustment layer you can do this by clicking the new adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel and selecting hue saturation this will open the hue and saturation properties dialog in the dialog apply the clipping mask by clicking this icon now check the colorize box to enable colorization of the layer this will allow you to add a tint of color to the snow next adjust the hue and saturation sliders to get the desired color effect for a sky blue glow you can set the hue to a value around 200 and the saturation to around 50 however feel free to experiment with the different values to get the look that you want the goal is to give the snow a subtle hint of color that enhances this winter scene without looking unnatural once you have adjusted the hue and saturation to your liking it's time to lower the layer opacity this can be done by clicking on the opacity options at the top of the layers panel and adjusting the slider to around 75 percent this will make the color effect more subtle and give the snow an almost winter fantasy glow finally we need to make one last adjustment to the masking of the snow layer to do this simply double click the layer mask itself in the layers panel on the snow layer this will open the mask settings in the properties panel in the mask settings lower the density to 90 percent 
This will allow some of the snow layer to the show through over the subject just a little bit more creating a more natural and integrated look. By following these steps you will be able to add subtle and beautiful color effect to the snow layer enhancing the overall winter scene and giving it an almost magical glow. And that's it you have successfully transformed your photo into a winter wonderland with realistic falling snow compare before and after to see the difference. That's all for this video my friends I hope you found this tutorial both helpful and enlightening don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you have any questions or need further assistance feel free to reach out in the comments stay tuned for more videos until next time happy editing